dedicating your life to a single dream, pouring your heart and soul into every stride. Every race, every season, you break records, defy expectations, and become a legend in your sport. Yet, the one prize, the golden pinnacle of achievement, continues to slip through your grasp. This is the story of Merle Naughty, the bronze queen of track and field, and her bittersweet chase for Olympic gold. Nine times she stood on the Olympic podium, not as the champion, but bathed in the bronze glow. Nine times she tasted the bittersweet tang of victory tinged with the yearning for something more. Today, we unravel the threads of her remarkable career, exploring the reasons why Olympic gold, despite her immense talent and unwavering dedication, remained just beyond her fingertips. Merlene's journey began in the sun-drenched fields of Jamaica, where her athletic prowess blossomed at an early age. Her raw talent was undeniable, but her path was far from smooth. Poverty, limited resources, and a lack of formal training could have easily extinguished her Olympic dream. Yet, Merlene, fueled by an unyielding spirit, persevered. She trained barefoot, embraced makeshift equipment, and pushed her limits with every sunrise. By the tender age of 16, she was representing Jamaica at the 1976 Montreal All-Olympics, igniting a career that would span an astonishing seven Olympic Games. Every race was a testament to her unwavering determination. Every medal a hard-won trophy against formidable competition. Her signature power and explosive speed made her a force to be reckoned with, leaving audiences awestruck and rivals fearing the flash of her orange and green jersey. But the gold, the elusive golden prize, seemed to hover just out of reach time and again. She would find herself inches away from the top step, separated by fractions of a second or the cruel twist of fate, a photo finish defeat here, a technicality disqualification there, each near miss fueled her fire, each bronze medal a bittersweet reminder of the ultimate goal. Merlene's career spanned a golden age of women's sprinting, a true battlefield of athletic titans. One formidable opponent was Florence Griffith Joyner, nicknamed Flojo, whose seemingly superhuman performances in the late 80s redefined the limits of human speed. In 1988, Flojo snatched gold in both the 100 meters and 200 meters at the Seoul Olympics, leaving Merlin with silver and bronze medals. Bittersweet reminders of what just a fraction of a second could mean. Another fierce rival was Gail Devers, whose career mirrored Merlin's in many ways. Both rose from humble beginnings, showcasing explosive speed and fierce determination. Their on-track clashes were electric, fueled by mutual respect and the unspoken yearning for ultimate victory. Yet, just like with Flojo, Olympic gold for Devers often came at Merlin's expense, adding another layer of emotional complexity to their shared journey. Beyond these legendary competitors, Merlin faced other hurdles. Injuries threatened to derail her progress, with a hamstring tear nearly jeopardizing her participation in the 1990 to Barcelona Olympics. Controversy swirled around allegations of doping, though she staunchly maintained her innocence throughout her career and in 2002. A switch of national allegiance from Jamaica to Slovenia raised eyebrows and sparked conversations about athlete representation and loyalty. Through it all, Merlin remained a beacon of grace and resilience. She embraced her role as a mentor, inspiring younger generations of athletes like Veronica Campbell-Brown and Shelley Ann Fraser-Price. Her infectious smile and unwavering spirit endeared her to fans worldwide earning her the affectionate moniker, the Bronze Queen. Though Olympic gold eluded her, Merlin's achievements are an unparalleled testament to the human spirit. She holds the record for the most appearances at the Olympic Games in track and field with seven, and the most individual medals at the World Championships, and there you have it. The incredible journey of Merlin Otti, the Bronze Queen who conquered tracks around the world, but found Olympic gold just out of reach. Her story is a testament to the highs and lows of athletic pursuits, the thrill of the chase, and the resilience needed to keep running the race. If you enjoyed this sprint down memory lane, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe for more riveting sports stories. Who's your favorite Olympic athlete with an unforgettable journey? Let us know in the comments below, and until next time, enjoy!